Welcome back 925 on this Wednesday morning and as COVID-19 has taken hold throughout the country, another health phenomenon has emerged. Childhood immunization rates have fallen. Joining us this morning via Zoom to talk about why it is important for parents to stick to recommended vaccine schedules and go forward with their child's well-being visits, University of Florida health physician, Dr. Cameron Rosenthal, good morning to you. Good morning. So uh, here's the question. Uh, vaccines are controversial for some. Should parents delay or postpone their well-child visits or vaccinations because of these COVID-19 concerns? So we feel strongly that parents should not um, delay their well-child visits or um, routine vaccinations for their children, um, even during the pandemic. Um, and that's because we've um, recognized for a long time the risks of not staying up to date with vaccines um, and not seeing your pediatrician regularly, especially during um, the early critical years of a child's life. Yeah, if we could, Doc, let's go into these risks more. What are the potential repercussions here? Well, um, our community is going to be put at greater risk of a potential outbreak of these vaccine preventable diseases if people don't stay up to date with vaccines. And that's because as you get drops in vaccine rates in the greater community, you lose that herd immunity, as it's referred to. And that's where you have a large number of um, people protected against vaccines and so protected against diseases. And so um, by having more people vaccinated, it protects those who are um, un unimmunized or um, at greater risk for diseases in the community. What are, in your opinion, some of the most important things to vaccinate for? You know, it's really hard for me to prioritize some vaccines over another. Um, I would say within the first two years of a child's life, um, that's when the majority of their critical vaccines are going to be received. So I think sticking to recommended vaccine schedules um, that are put out by the American Academy of Pediatrics and by the Center for Disease Control is really key in protecting your child. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about these declines. What have we seen as a nation uh, as far as people not necessarily vaccinating their children? Sure. So after the president declared a national um, emergency in mid-March, um, starting just a couple of weeks after that, we saw um, pretty significant declines across the country um, in um, routine pediatric visits and, and vaccinations. Um, and in particular, um, they uh, were looking at the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, and that's the vaccine that's given um, early in a child's life. And I think part of that has to do with, you know, many communities putting in stay-at-home orders and families trying to, you know, stick to their home environments as much as possible. And unfortunately, that resulted in um, people um, deciding not to get their children their regular visits and immunizations. And there is a much higher risk if you break that schedule, you break that routine, right? Yes, sir, there is. There is to the individual and, and also to the greater community. And that risk can be long term. And um, if we don't get children back on their regular vaccine schedules sooner rather than later, um, that risk could last for months to years. Mm -hmm. Are you worried that there's going to be so many people that have maybe put off their vaccines that they're all going to be overloaded as we continue to relax those guidelines as far as staying at home, working from home, not going to school, not going to daycare? Um, you know, I can't speak for all pediatric practices, but I know at UF um, we've been prioritizing um, and really stressing to families the importance of coming in for those well visits and vaccines, and we've been well equipped to accommodate that and to get people back on track. Dr. Rosenthal from UF Health, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.